We've signed up to the Crowdcube thing, giving them all our company information, giving them our pitch decks, our promo stuff. I've never been put under this much scrutiny in my entire life. Because this is the first time I had ever done a crowdfund, they recommended a company to us called Overfund who would manage our entire campaign. So I'm thinking, obviously, I'm trying to not leave anything to chance right now because I've done all this chaos before. So I paid the company because six grand plus tax. Now this process should only take about two, three months and they have a million investors who they're gonna send your investment opportunity out to and you have a very good chance of raising the money. Now you can raise over your money but you can't raise under your money. So you have to give them a target. You have to hit the target. They recommended we go in for about 400K, but I wanted to go in for 200K just to be safe because I wanted to hit the target. And then obviously if we hit 200K, we can still overfund to 400K. So a couple months have gone by now and we haven't really made a whole lot of progress. I'm kind of chasing them down, wondering what's going on. They're ignoring us. And this goes on for a little while. And then eventually I get a letter in the post from an accountancy company and they are handling the liquidation of overfund. So this company that we've paid three, three and a half grand to manage our campaign, they have just gone out of business basically. And the worst part about this letter is they're not telling us, oh, we didn't offer you the service. So we're going to give you your three grand back. They are asking for the remaining three and a half grand that I was supposed to pay at the end of the job. So I've kind of flipped out and I'm like, yo, you guys are taking the absolute piss. I will not ask again. Pay me my money. <laughs> well, I'm sure my people will be in cash. I'm still waiting for this money to this day. They they haven't paid us. I had to take over the whole crowdfund now, something I'd never done and I'm taking it over at the end. So we are pressed for time. Now money is actually running out. Everything I was trying to avoid is now happening right before my eyes and I can't do anything to stop it. So we're dealing with compliance now. As I'm submitting all our pieces of evidence, they're all getting approved. We're doing great. Like everything is going through perfectly. Then a few weeks later, maybe a week later, suddenly all the approvals are getting rejected. So I'm thinking something is definitely going on so I've contacted them and it turns out the member of the compliance team who was looking over our stuff in the beginning who was approving everything was taken off our case basically and we were given someone else and this woman was just being <sighs> okay okay let's just take some deep breaths keep it together she was being a nuisance basically so everything that had been approved she was now rejecting it so it didn't really make sense why she was and we were getting into a few like back and forth and a few disagreements about how we should present the pitch this was not something that i was just plucking out of my own brain i was speaking to other members of the crowdcube team and they were in firm agreement with what i was saying so it was literally this one woman who was being like this lone wolf and in the end i thought we had reached an agreement we had gone to all our investors to say that we are about to be on crowdcube so don't invest in us this way you're going to invest in us on this platform everything was looking great as we are about to get our share price i get an email from crowdcube saying that they're disqualifying us obviously it's something to do with my disagreement with this woman so they made us go to all our investors and kind of warm them up to this crowdfund and then they we were still it was still possible to disqualify us i wouldn't have cared if they kicked us out because we could have gone straight to our investors and said like, we're doing a funding round now or do you want to get involved and just raise the money how we have been raising the money this whole time now everyone's kind of looking for the crowdfund and saying we've been disqualified it just looks like shit so no matter what the reason is they are not going to care i didn't know what we were going to do yeah, we were back to square one, couldn't raise any money. But like I said, when that email came in, I literally cried. I rang my girlfriend at the time. She cried, I cried, fucking, I've been working on this for 12 months. And obviously I've been working on this for years before this. And I had already dealt with a load of ups and downs and 12 months work just got taken away like that, like just wiped clean. This is the time more than all the other times that I really thought that we were done. I started going online, looking at different possibilities, trying to look at like bounce back loans and grants and all these kind of things, these other potential routes for funding. I applied to so many different things, which is also how I applied to this Barclays Accelerator program is that I was just looking for any option to save us. And I ended up finding this startup loan. I applied to that and we ended up securing another 25K, which is where we are right now. And obviously we're on this Barclays Accelerator program. We have the opportunity to raise some money at the end of it. And we're gonna see how everything goes, I guess. Like this is all unfolding. We are currently, like where we are now in this story is basically at the present. Obviously 25K is not a whole lot of money and it's not gonna last us a whole lot of time. So who knows where we are gonna be in a few months time. I might be back on this camera crying about a worse rock bottom than the one that we've just been at.
I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who has watched the series, who has just been supporting the series, sending me messages. Like, I appreciate every single one of you and I really wanted to tell this story to um, bring you guys up to speed as to where we are today. Something new coming soon, I think you guys are going to love it and I'm very grateful for the support so far. Peace.